This is a video on how to install the firmware update 2.10 or higher on the MPC Live X or One. The sequence. What is going on everybody? My name is DJ Av if this is your first video. If it is, make sure that you subscribe and check out the playlist that are in the description because I do a lot of Akai MPC videos if you are very interested in my content. Now, let's begin. Make sure that you go to the akaipro.com website. The link will be in the description box so you can either log into your account or register your account. If you are a new person, make sure that you register your account. Otherwise, if you are someone that is a returning person, just log into your account. You really think I'm about to enter my password right here. Come on, guys. Now that you are logged in or after you register, you'll be greeted with a page like this where it's a home page. Well, the first thing you want to do if you are a newcomer is register your MPC Live X01. So how do you do that? Well, so make sure that you grab the box for your Akai MPC Live X01 and then register this right here where it says 21 in parentheses. So if you need to register a new product, you just go in there and type in everything after the parentheses 21, okay? So after you register your MPC Live X01, you'll be greeted with stuff like this where it says Akai MPC One. So click on see details and then the page will load up to that. For those who don't know, you can get a code or coupon so you can get 50% off on the MPC expansion, even though it's not about that, or three months free on Splice, but you need the firmware update. So let's go ahead and grab the 2.10 firmware update. So let's go ahead and click on that. Click on that drop down menu, and then you'll see 2.10 firmware update or Windows and Mac. We're gonna do USB this time. After that, it will download. You'll see it at the bottom left side of your screen. If you're on the Mac, of course, it'll be at the top right of your browser and it will pop up, of course. So therefore do that. Also, since the MPC 2.10 firmware update has new SIMS, you need to click on this drop down menu and click on synth content. So do that for either Windows or Mac or the SIM content. Let's go ahead and click on that and it will give you the SIM content and we'll get into that in a little later in the video. We'll also grab the Windows version so we can update the MPC software. Now just navigate to your downloads folder. It's the downloads folder. What I'm gonna do is just take all of the content right here that I need and put it on my desktop. You don't have to do this, but I just like to do it just to bring clarification to everybody. So the next thing that you need to do is this right here. Make sure that you grab an empty USB flash drive. If you have one laying around the house, that's cool. Okay, we're inserting the flash drive. You'll hear that on Windows, of course. The next thing you need to do is this right here, which is just go to a folder and then access your flash drive drag that file into here and it's going to copy and then we'll be back in a second for the synth installation part we're going to use this right here which is called an sd card i'm going to allow this to focus on it and i highly recommend this brand right here sandisk and the extreme pro version anything 128 gigs or better so you can get a lot of files on there guys i recommend it over if you're an mpc one user over something like this right here, which is a USB hard drive. And the reason why I recommend the SD card over something like this right here, which is a hard drive that goes into the USB port. Well, in the new update, of course, you can use a class compliant audio interface and you only have one port on the back of the MPC one. So yeah, think about that guys. And if your laptop is anything like my laptop and it doesn't have an SD card slot, well, guess what? you will need an SD card slot. So you can buy one of these right here. I have a link in the description box. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert my SD card into my SD card slot. 
this SD card port, and then I'm gonna pull it up on the computer. Now, I can do this right here. I can just extract the files right here from the MPC synth content and allow it to get on my desktop right now. So that'll be a while, so we'll get back shortly. Let's go into the MPC synth content folder. Let's open it up and then go over here to the synth folder where it says synth and then copy it over. So let's copy it. Now we can minimize and we'll pull up the SD card right here, which has all of my other samples and stuff on it and then hit paste. And then it's gonna copy and paste all the MPC synth content over. Last but not least, if you wanna install it on your computer, just open up the install that is for Windows or Mac, and then choose to accept and so forth. Next, full install, install it all. And it will install to the MPC software and it's finished. All right, so turn on your MPC Live X or One, hit empty project, and here you are at the main screen where the next thing you need to do is this. Just press this menu button, boom. And then hit this cogwheel, locate the image file that is on the flash drive. You know, this is what we used earlier. Let's plug it up to the back of this unit, get it ready. All right, now that it's in there, press shift and then press update. So press and hold shift and then update. Uh, it says, this drive contains firmware update 2.10. For your MPC, you're currently running version 2.9.1. <laughs> do you want to upgrade now? <laughs> yes, we do. Let's upgrade. Are you sure you want to update your MPC? It gives you another warning, which is cool. Boom. And here we go. Now it's updating. It's gonna take a little while. Do not do anything. You can see that it's activated right here and that it's reading the file. You know, that's a little thing about my flash drive I like. You can see it reading the file again. Just don't mess with it at all, guys. If you mess with it and then your MPC bricks or something like that, that's your fault. Your fault. All right, so now that you got that warning, we'll fast forward it when it's done, okay? All right, so we're back and it says new plugin instruments. Uh, new plugin instruments are available for your MPC to use them. You must first download and install their content file. So you see that guys, it shouldn't be that difficult to understand that. Just go to the website and download the files like I did and put them on your SD card or your hard drive if you have a Live or X, okay? So don't show again. And then we're gonna take this right here, this SD card, and put it in the front of the MPC-1, because that's what I'm using, guys. I'm using the retro version. Link in the description box if you want to get it. It will help support this channel at no additional cost to you. <laughs> I'm gonna unplug this flash drive here because we don't need that anymore. Boom. And yeah, here we are. So we're in the new update. Uh, there are a few things I can test out right here. Let's go ahead and do that. So. I'm going to places here. I'm going to grab a file file of some sort. I think I'll grab a sample. It doesn't matter what sample. So I got to go in my sample folder, sample stuff. This is my personal folder. This is my SD card. Okay. And I'll just load up something for low fly, uh, fly melodics for. I start up. Hey. And boom, here we are. So the next thing I want to do here is just go into the main and we're going to check the sample edit. Boom, we're in the sample edit. I see the key detection is there. You know, all the new features are there. So yeah, everything's successful. I guess the best way to check it is going to the menu here and then just press the cockwheel. <laughs> and then you see it says MPC firmware 2.10.0. So yeah, everything is good to go. Uh, let's go over here and check out and see if the new plugins are there. Indeed they are. So I can pull up a uh, Mellotron here. I just go ahead and press the program edit button on the MPC one. That's kind of the reason why I like the MPC one in the first place is all the extra buttons. So yeah, there's one for you guys. 
Uh, now I have access to putting the audio interface in the back of it and you know many other things too as well. So yeah, everything is there. Let's go ahead and just run a, a preset or two, the violins to see if it's there. And, and then we'll just go back to the main menu right here. Press pad performance, let's play some chords. Everything is there, it's working. So, you know, I could go back in the program, edit. All right, we are good to go. So it's pretty easy to do, guys. No sweat at all.